Well, I believe this colony is strong enough to make my starter screen right starter finisher out of. You're not gonna like this. It's not a very warm day. Not a lot of bees flying today. But gotta do what we gotta do. Um because I'm headed back out of town and if I only worked bees in the nicest weather here in Oregon, we wouldn't work bees very much. So replacing that box with the box that I put together for them with the queen excluder on the bottom under the box. Now I'm going to attempt to change out frames in the bottom box and uh, then get a top box on them. I put this shallow super on here to get them to start drawing it out and they're doing that. There's bees in that box and there's bees emerging. Um, she's done a great job so this box is going to blow up I may end up stealing some bees from another box to put in here eventually build it even more because I don't have a lot of very strong colonies right now because I split them all really hard and they're just now building back they've built back amazingly but still takes time to get the bee numbers up this one is marked pollen but it's got brood all over it too so I believe she's about out of room to lay in here anyway that's why I added the other box a solid frame of cap brood This one has emerged in the last day or so and she's got it completely laid back up again. Both sides. She's probably got eggs in the upper box too. I didn't go through it yet but it looked like they'd drawn it all out very nicely already and it's brand new comb so she'll be all over that. Doesn't look like she's quite out. She's got the top end of this one laid out, but not the bottom. Like I said, a bunch of these should be just emerging. Almost all capped on one side, and half capped on the other side. All capped. One side. Large larva on the other. She's uh, she's doing a pretty good job in here. Be a good one to get strong enough to raise queen cells. And even though they're a little crowded and they've got some cups, queen cups, they haven't started any swarming yet. But if you remember, 
a little over three weeks ago they had nothing in there but a queen and some field bees so it's pretty damned amazing what they've done it's kind of crazy to me for all the bees I got I come out here in my yard and I don't have enough bees to build a good cell starter but I made lots of splits and I've sold a lot of bees Right, the feeder that was in the bottom box is going to go into the top box. Those are the ones I want to make sure get plenty of feed. I need a couple extra frames. got some frames drawn comb or mostly drawn comb that I'm gonna put in here so the queen can get busy with it lay up more I need to clean propolis off the edges of these frames because they're really, really tight. So, now we want another queen excluder and I'm not sure, certain right now where the queen's at. At this point right now, it doesn't matter. We'll move bees around when we're ready to set this up. And now my top box with the cloak board attached to the bottom and another queen excluder. We'll open that up. Now I'm gonna need more frames. So we get eight frames in the upper box and a feeder and this will not be ready to graft into uh, anytime super soon hopefully in the next week sometime but I'm going to take a look through this upper box don't know should check and see what you guys can see, huh? Now that we're getting tall. So I put this shallow super on here because I have a bunch of shallow boxes I picked up and I'm going to use them for mating nukes. And I, none of them have drawn comb. So this was a booming box, so I shoved it up there. And here the outside frame, they've got the inside of it partially drawn. And it looks like they're drawing the heck out of most of it. Drawing and putting honey in it. 
nectar which is fine I'd like to get enough of these going that I can get them laid up and actually make splits with these and use those for my mating nukes where they're actually an established colony of their own not just shaking bees because again like this morning's video if I just shake bees in eventually they get old and they're not doing the job you needed them to do if you can be regenerating your own bees right in your mating nuke so they are their own colony and you just keep changing out their queen but they still have brood to rear they've got this drawn out very 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 nicely I will probably take most of it away from them and put foundation back up here again because the younger nurse bees especially if all they have to do is feed some larva just a couple of queen larva um, they want to draw comb and they'll draw it wherever the hell they want to if you don't give them a place so might as well capitalize on that and get some frames drawn yeah I don't see that, that the queen has been up here doing anything yet which is a little surprising they like fresh wax but uh, they are starting to put some stores in it but I've just given them a lot of room I've given them 10 new frames and we'll see how they fill those out you said there should be a bunch more bees emerging um, I'm going to leave a top entrance here but I don't think I'm going to open it up yet that's a lot of box for them to try to keep warm so for right now we're going to leave them sealed up a little more um, finding it's a huge huge difference if there's heat the more heat that's in there um, these extra carpets and things that came on these hives it, this really seems to make a difference um, keep that brood chamber warmer well this is set up now we'll uh, see how it does turn that box around so the girls can find their way in now my the tallest stack in the apiary we give them a little time to uh, emerge with another frame or two of brood and move around on that the queen excluders are are on there so if the queen's above she's gonna stay above but I I didn't see her but I wasn't looking much so anyway we'll let that get established and then we'll see if we can make some Queens in it <laughs> 